Well, between pandemic restrictions and labor shortages last year, restaurants sure took a hard hit. With celebrity chef David Burke going so far as to hiring his landscaper to help in the kitchen. But now the city approaching the end of the key to NYC vaccine mandate, which required proof of vaccination for indoor dining. And there's both relief, also a little hesitation, though, among those in the industry. Joining us right now, restaurateur David Burke, the culinary prankster behind David Burke's Tavern on the Upper East Side. We've known each other 100 years. I don't think I've ever called you culinary prankster. Yeah, yeah, that came, that came from a Time Out article many years ago. kind of stuck. So anyway, yeah. how are you, Lori? I'm doing good. Let's talk about this movement that's going to happen on Monday. After two years, last time we had you on, we were talking about the shortage that you had with your staff. What does this announcement mean to you? Well, the, the, speaking of staff, staff will be more comfortable to come back to work. The people that had some of the staff that had to stay home and babysit because of the school situation are free to work, come back to work and people are comfortable to come back to work. So we're, we don't have the staffing issues and we're not forced to pay higher prices than we should have to uh, uh, with the labor shortage, the unemployment uh, uh, the excess has been stopped. So we're, we're feeling a little better about hiring. So what the, if also, yeah. I was just so for the staff. I know that each restaurant can still dictate how they want to move forward. Will you have the staff wear masks? Uh, no, we 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 haven't really discussed it. But our staff will not have to wear masks. If somebody's uncomfortable and they want to book a party and if they request that our staff wear a mask for a party, we certainly will accommodate that. So as soon as I know we just finished with like restaurant week or we're in the midst of it, how has business been? Has it been improving since we've seen everything start to ease? I am the co-chair on restaurant week. We we opened, we coincided opening David Burke Tavern on the Upper Side restaurant week. We had a very good restaurant week. And what I've seen since the restaurant week uh, ended about three weeks ago has been very positive. There's a good uptick. We're not where we want to be yet but I can feel the momentum and people are happy to be out. I think with the restrictions being lifted, uh, there'll, be a, there'll, there'll be a little bit more uh, uh, energy to go out and optimism, and uh, especially for the larger groups, the parties at 20, 30 and up. And also when the offices start to fill back up and Broadway opens up a little bit, I got myself a set of tickets the next week to go to a show. Mm -hmm. And I think, uh, you know, slow and steady, we'll get New York back on its feet. So, what is there any hesitation about unvaxxed patrons? Uh, hesitation about having unvaxxed mm -hmm. people in the restaurant? Yes. I, I don't have any hesitation uh, on it. I think that, you know, like you said, if we've been listening to the government for a long time, we did what they said, we're going to listen to them this time. And they said it's okay. We're going to believe that it's okay. Can you make up? for all the ground that you've lost. I mean, you have two restaurants here. You have six in, Jer in Jersey, and I know you have numerous all over the country. Yeah. Uh, well, what we lost in New York, we, we picked up. We, myself, was fortunate in, on the Jersey side. But I don't, you know, we, we, we got to leave that in the rearview mirror and move forward. You know, we had a bad couple of years that we had some government assistance that was helpful. Uh, the most important thing is to stay positive. We uh, and hopefully we don't get turned around again because that's just that's just too much of a, <laughs> an ego breaker. You know, to right. keep taking to start the engine and shut it off, start the engine and shut off. That's where we lose money. Hiring and then having to slow down. So we want the momentum to continue. We'll start to market a little bit more, and you know we're going to give it a great shot and see how how we how we fare for the rest of the year. But right. New York is New York. There's no place like it. We we think that uh, if we can deliver what we were delivering pre-pandemic, we're going to be in good shape. Now uh, prices are higher for uh, food costs, and certainly uh, labor prices are always like high in New York, and they're a little higher. But uh, New York like is willing to spend if the value is there. All right. I love the positivity. Always good to have you on. You know I love your restaurants as well. Good luck, nice David. Nice to hear your voice. I haven't seen you guys. I know. And it's we been tell too long. Hello, and I uh, hope to see you soon. Same to you. Thank you, David.